So just we're just here. pruning our eucalyptus here. Um, they, th this one grows really fast. This is eucalyptus night and so, first of all folks, rule of thumb, never ever prune eucalyptus trees in fall or winter if you live in the North Pacific like us. That's a good way to damage or kill your eucalyptus trees if you get a cold blast. So even the hardiest ones are susceptible to getting damaged or killed if you get a cold blast right after you prune it. So right now, early April, and these things do grow really fast. Yeah. I planted these as seedlings. This is eucalyptus nitens. And we got to prune these things a few times a year because oh, they just yeah. grow so rapid. I kind of, all summer I'm pinching them so that they, like we're trying to get this so it's not so high because we have power lines above. I can probably reach some and of it with my Felcos. Yeah. So we're going to take this off here. Beautiful yeah, I can foliage. And a lot of the eucalyptus I sell, um, it's great to make seed soil, bouquets, hang in your shower, um, yep. By pruning them, it makes for a lot thicker tree too. Yeah, yeah, the trunk is getting tree. thicker now. We have about one, two, three, I think we've got about five planted along this Just, boulevard. Yeah. Well, there's another one up there too. And two down, three down there. So, what do you think, looks a little better? This one's the biggest one so far. Yeah, it's grown really fast. What do you think? Fit better? Yep. I think that's good, eh? And yeah. then we'll go to the next one. Uh, Perniana. I might leave it for now. Yeah. Okay, so this and is. And I an... think that over there on the outside's fine right now. Oh, I don't care about that. Yeah, because it's hanging down. It'll look really pretty. So this is this is a shining gum. Remember, folks, there's over 700 uh, species of eucalyptus trees. So we're gonna go down to. This is our little. Walkway here. This one smells so good. I love this one. I think this is my favorite for scent because it's so strong. We crunch up the leaves and they're like, oh, it's beautiful. Okay, these ones are growing pretty fast. That one will have to pinch the tops. Yeah. Yeah, they've done, they've actually done really well. Last last year they did, they've they taken bushed off. out quite a bit. They kind of and sat there for a little bit and now they're really growing good yeah. and they're in actually not very good soil. Trunks are getting a lot thicker. It's kind of sketchy. Little, and this little wasp. End up falling over on this ladder. Hang on. There, maybe there. Right there. Okay. Totally. I mean, once they get thick enough, you can use them with your hedge yep. trimmers. That's right. That's what uh, I know somebody that did yep, that. Yeah, because I think once they get big enough, like enough um, stems on them, they're just going to be. It's going to be a nice hedge. That's what yeah. it's going to be. So we'll go up here. Like I would just take that with your hand, bolt all those branches there, clump them together, and just clip. Like this. Yep, exactly. Yep, that's it. You got it. I think and then that one kind of sticking out a little this over. One? No, the tree you just did, pull it towards you. This one? Grab that branch. Same thing, no, higher up, higher up. Take okay. your hand again, run your hand. Oh, I see. Do that, do that. clip. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you know what? That's oh, gonna give it a really nice. Too. Yeah. Cut the top off that one. Oh, that's the same. Is that the same tree? That's the same tree. Same tree. I'll just leave it for now. Yeah. And then we got a perineana there. That one doesn't need it, but nope. how about that one, Chad? I think this one does. Yeah, okay, the I'll top. Knock the top off of it. Yeah. I think the same. Grab a bunch of them and just clip. That's a spinning gum. We have some Good. big eucalyptus trees on our property, as you can see. Up through Which there. Those are the mountain gums? Those are mountain gums. Over there, yeah, they're big. And then we got parvula Beautiful. in here. We have a lot of different varieties. Okay. I think we have about two dozen growing. So, and like I said, we have our little stand that we set up later on and we sell eucalyptus bundles. So if you phone me and you want some, yeah, I can always But if you ain't some. coming out of your house at this time, you're probably not going to be buying eucalyptus. No. If you're in self-isolation, don't bother coming Well, by. if they want some and order it, yeah, I can I so. clip them some in the next few weeks yeah. and set aside bundles. I that might be the way the to do it. So right now, Joe's doing the um, spinning gum. Eucalyptus perineana. And yeah, I would uh, Maybe there. grab, yeah, that. I'm going to go here. And then and then take that the ends of each of those little branches and clip the ends. Yeah. I think that's good. pretty good. Yeah. That's how it's done. 
Don't slow down, keep going. Because this one's a spinning gum. This is a spinning gum because when the juvenile leaves die, the stem goes through the middle of them and when the wind hits them, they can actually, okay. they'll spin on the stems. Isn't that's that kind of cool? cool? It is. So that's a spinning gum, see? You spin them around on the stem there. And this is what the koala bears love. Very fragrant too. Don't they? Yeah, very fragrant. The nightens is more fragrant though. So there it is. Happy gardening everybody. Like and subscribe for more videos on Gulf Island Rock. And uh, we'll show you how to do stuff in the garden with exotic plants. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Joe.